No. They call it The Universal Monsters legacy at HHN is not over. As you well know, we announced earlier this year a new house called Universal Monsters Legends Collide. Um, just real quick, tell you a little bit about the concept of this house. Um, it starts with this. Believe it or not, now Universal made a ton of Universal Monsters movies. Do you remember all those ones like towards the kind of when they got into the 40s and they just started throwing the kitchen sink at it, like House of Frankenstein, House of Dracula. It was like, you know, okay, we'll have the Wolfman, Frankenstein, Dracula, you know, they just like pile them on. Believe it or not, they never did a movie in the original Universal Classic Monster Horror Cycle that had Dracula, the Mummy, and the Wolfman. Never happened. So we brought all of these characters to London. Now, why are they there? Just for a goof. <laughs> we just thought it would be funny. Let's just have them all show up at the same place at the same time. Um, no, there always has to be a conflict. So for us, it's this idea of curses. So each of these characters are cursed in a different way. What's Dracula's curse? Well, he can never go out when the sun's up, right? 
He always has to exist at night. He can never go outside in the daylight. Think of how prolific Dracula would be if he could just go out in the daylight and start biting people. <laughs> so Dracula is seeking uh, an end to the curse that is on his life. Um, and he's represented in the house by a blood red moon. Then you go to the mummy. He's an eternal slave. He's cursed for all eternity to be a slave. Um, so he has the harvest moon, the kind of gold moon you see in the middle. And then the wolf man, his curse is obvious. Every time the moon is full, he turns into a beast and ends up having to kill people that he doesn't want to kill. Um, so all of these characters are searching for an end to this curse.
Review. We double dare 